Hey everybody, welcome to Big G Outdoors. Today I want to talk about canting the bow. Uh, for those of you that don't know what canting the bow is, instead of shooting it straight up and down like this, you turn it to the side. And a lot of people like to do this because it opens up your, your uh, sight picture. You don't have the limb of the bow in your way. If you're canted, you know, if you're canted like this, you have and a more open sight picture. Whereas, if you're straight up and down like that, the limb can get in your way. So anyway, last year, you know, I was shooting, uh, I, I, I just started traditional archery uh, like two years ago, and I started straight up and down, and as I progressed and got better and better, I started to cant the bow, and I really liked it. but. I noticed with canting the bow, as I turned it this way, as I leaned it to the side, instead of turning my hand to go with the bow, my bow, my my string hand was staying straight. And as it was staying straight, that and the bow was twist and the bow was canted, that meant I was torquing the string. I'll show you what I mean. I don't know if you could see that, but my hand is straight and the bow is canted. And what that does, it mess, messes up your shot something awful. So I can't can't. I, it, at first I can do it because I start out with my hand angled to my face, angled to the bow, everything's on that angle, I'm good. But then as I progress, my hand naturally wants to be straight up and down this is uncomfortable for me so like i always say comfort is the key to traditional archery just because someone does it one way doesn't mean that you have to do it that way first and foremost you got to find what's comfortable for you um grizzly jim talks about the three c's all the time comfort uh consistency and uh i don't know i forget the third one you have to watch his video to see anyway uh so I can't do it. So I'm going back to straight up and down. And maybe after I get straight up and down and keep shooting that, like that for a while, I'll, I'll start developing bad habits that way and want to switch back to the can't just to, cause it seems like whenever I switch, I have a new um, process in my mind a little bit better. So I'm actually able to concentrate more on my keys. And as I shoot and shoot and shoot that way, instead of it uh, becoming more automatic for me, I actually start developing bad habits. So I'm going back to straight up and down because when I'm canting it, I'm torquing the string. So all I'm trying to say is you guys that are out there that are thinking about switching to canting, watch that you're not torquing that string because you have the bow angled and your string hand is straight. So let's take a couple shots straight up and down and see, and then we'll take a couple shots canted. I'm gonna shoot the groundhog down there. Yeah. Right in the face. In the face! better okay now we'll try a couple canted see if we can't see the difference now like I said I used to shoot canted so it shouldn't be that horrible but I'll try I'll try to keep my hand the way it's supposed to be, and then I'll try to do it where I show you that it's torqued. So first, if we try to do it with good form, can't. Here, I missed the target. <laughs> I missed the groundhog. That's what I said, I've been shooting straight up and down. I tried to can it. Let's try it again. All right, now this time I'll show you and I'll torque the string. Let's 
see that one was way off. Got some really weird aero flight out of that one because I torqued the string and it's just the arrow just flew crazily and it hit real low on the target. So what I'm trying to say is you could shoot straight up and down, you could shoot canted. It looks kind of cool canted, don't it? I mean, yeah, you're like, well, canted. Grizzly Jim shoots that way. Uh, uh, Clay Hayes has a slight cant to it. Uh, you know, yeah, it looks cool, but uh, I can't do it, you know. I start off doing it good, and then I develop bad habits. So I'm going back to straight up and down. Well, thanks for watching. Big G Outdoors.